things. You know, it, it's amazing to me to look back 50 years and think that it's been 50 years because uh, I guess it seems, still seems so vivid to me and I guess there, it was vivid at the time and so I guess it was easy to remember but uh, it's been a rare day since then over the past 50 years that there hasn't been some recollection or someone hasn't asked a question about space flight or about NASA or something. So we've recalled this so often, it's remained very vivid to me. People ask quite often, were you afraid during launch or, or in orbit? And uh, if you're talking about fear that overcomes what you're supposed to do, no. You've trained very hard for these flights, and I trained very hard for that first orbital flight. And uh, we had tried to foresee all the things that could happen, but we couldn't. We didn't oversee. We didn't see all of them. And I had some uh, control. Pro the automatic control system went out at the end of the first orbit. Was wasting fuel and I was able to go to manual and control that through the backup systems uh, that were provided. Zero and lift off the final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Program, Houston. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings. Uh, what it did do, though, it cut out our only means of getting to the space station to realize the potential of the station to do basic research. And so now what we're saddled with now, the only way we're getting to the station right now is by sending our people over to be launched by the Russians, and we pay the Russians 60-some million, whatever it is, uh, for each astronaut to furnish transportation for us to our own space station. 